Hey guys, Indy Zero Gloves here and welcome back to another video. As you can see, we have all the big girls out to play today. Today's video is going to be a glove collection. Summer 2023, we're going to come at you guys with a banger. So, uh, hope you're in for a good one. Stay tuned, fellas. So as you can see, this is the result of nine years of collecting gloves, me and my bro. And we have some beauties for you guys to see today. Alright, so starting off hot. Here we have my custom TT2, Rawlings Heart of the Hide. As you can see, this has been my gamer for the past year or so. Have the gold lay gold accents on the glove. As you can see, it's kind of faded a little bit, but blonde everywhere else. Or I think Rawlings calls it tan. Very classic glove. Not too flashy, but I do love her. Here we got a ball in the bucket. Beautiful mid right here. It's my gamer. Love this bad girl. Choo! traditional MLB logo as you can see she's still buttery still holds her shape she's a beaut next up here we have my A2K that dude super nice glove very poppy looking not as poppy as usual got the snake skin all around the that dude Brandon Phillips right there red and black colorway the snake skin ball in a pocket swallowed is the baseball Still holds your shape pretty nicely. Honestly, this glove does not have a great shape, great break in. Not a big fan of the model, but you know, it looks clean, looks nice. A lot of people love the look. All right, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have a fan favorite. Everybody on my team loves this mitt right here. This is a JA27. I want to say it's a 2018 or 2019 model. As you can see, JA27 game model, Jose Altuve game spec. She's a beaut. I love this web, but my favorite part about this glove is a navy super skin with the orange, what is this, welting coming out of it? It's a beautiful mitt. Really pops in the sun, as you can see. Going crazy right now. Just not too comfortable to game it. The pocket's super deep, as you can see. And it doesn't close the way I like it. It closes thumb to pinky almost. So, not a fan of the pattern, but this is probably my favorite looking glove that I have in the collection. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Next up, we have one of my personal favorite gloves, my college issue Rawlings, pro preferred, super stiff still, never really gotten the process of breaking it in. This is more of a looks type of glove for sentimental value. Uh, we have Suave, no days off for some of the details. Um, I can't remember the color that I used. I think it was mint green on the uh, customizer and a nice blonde all around. Super nice specs, there's the Nunez logo. Super nice all around. I'll give y'all a ball in a pocket. Flop that thing down. Yeah, stiff as a rock still. Next up is a glove that I've been having since freshman year of high school. So about six years ago, six, seven years ago. This is a Rawlings Pro Preferred Rich Tan Pro S217 RT, 11 and a quarter inch. This is a beautiful mitt, fellas. Whew, look at that butteriness. Look at that butteriness. If you made it this far in the video, comment buttery. Capital Super B. Buttery. Super buttery. Let's do a ball in the pocket on this bad boy. I would honestly game this thing if the, if it wasn't so small. As you can see, it didn't swallow the baseball. Very small glove. Um, great for probably second base. And that's probably the only position you can get away with gaming this mitt. But it's a beautiful glove nonetheless. One row down, four to go, boys. Next up, here we have my Marucci Custom. Got this glove about four months ago. Super nice glove right here. Marucci Cypress Series Custom. It's got the black palm with the camo all around. I go two and a pink in this one, actually, fellas. Here's all the specs. Red and black. Leather. Actually really broken in already. Cypress Series breaks in super quick. Bottom pocket. Doesn't really swallow the baseball, though. Two and a pink and all. Throw that thing down. Feels really nice. Uh, I would question the durability on this glove. I don't know if it'd be very durable because it doesn't feel like leather. the leather would hold up for a long time, but it's a nice glove nonetheless. Ladies and gentlemen, if you made it this far in the video, comment right now what your favorite glove has been. So far, don't forget to leave a like too. Leave a like, drop a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps us out. We're on the road to 20,000 subs. Thanks to you guys. 
And um, yeah, let's continue with the video. Next up, we have my Wilson A2000 1786. This is the first line of the new, as you can see, the logos are a little bit different on this glove compared to the older ones. This is a 2021 model, 1786, which means it is a 11 and a half inch glove. But honestly, it plays a little bit smaller. This glove is not broken in. I'm honestly trying to sell it. So if you're interested, comment below. <laughs> let's go golfing. But here we go, as you can see, black and gold everywhere, Wilson Gold logos with the white outline, beautiful mitt right here. Ugh, ball in the pocket, she's super stiff. But yeah, solid mitt, nothing too crazy. All right, here we have Bros Marucci, and here is my Marucci. This is a custom college issue. As you can see, the Nunez logo on the side. No days off, which is what Indy Zero stands for. Fan favorite. Fan favorite glove right here. You guys love this piece. This is an 11.5 inch Capital Series. Honestly, fellas, the leather on this is definitely subpar. Not anything that I would recommend to you guys. Um, and also, the uh, the color on this bad boy has been uh, fading a little bit in the sun. And... Um, I think it does look pretty clean, but the leather's not up to par, like a Wilson A2000, or maybe even this leather. This leather feels better than this leather. This is a Capital Series. Cypress. This is a Cypress Series, which is also cheaper than this, and this leather feels better than it. So I don't know what, what Marucci's doing, but I mean, the gloves look cool nonetheless. Here we have another fan favorite. This is the Rawlings Rev 1X. This is the most unique glove in the collection by far. Um, this glove is supposed to come broken in and also just never get floppy on you. Um, a lot of famous MLB players such as Francisco Lindor, Bo Bichette, and many others use this exact glove. This is also the uh, Lindor model. So as you can see, Rev FL12, 11 and 3 quarters. So this is a little bit of a bigger glove. Slime green, faux quetre. As you can see, pretty sick looking glove. Um, I would never game this thing though, just doesn't, not my type. And you really can't form it to how you like it, so. Let's do a ball in a pocket. <sighs> this is how she was when I got her and she hasn't been really more broken in since. I guess it just stays like this, but solid glove. Next up, we probably have the most eye-catching glove in our entire collection right here. This pink A2000. 1787 edition i think this is actually our first 1787 bro is that correct i think that's i think that's correct uh bought this thing used on Macari. this is actually our newest pickup it's got like these new details that wilson did with their logos kind of like a fade in white from red to white or whatever they do that in like their newest gloves lately but yeah i got this glove about two weeks ago super nice glove i did not do this tape the previous owner did quick tip for you guys if you see a glove you can find them for cheaper on like ebay or mercari that's actually where i got this one ball in the pocket two in the pink really shallow pocket low key but like a, a different clothes it's not really a bowl like i usually like it's more of a goal post like a football goal post i like a bowl but this is a this is how this one's broken in. Super comfortable in the hand. The leather's really nice. 11 and 3 fourths inch glove right here. It's all the specs, baby. White lacing all around. Beautiful glove. Beautiful, beautiful glove. Right here we have my old gamer. This is a, also a custom Rawlings TT2. This is also a Pro Preferred. Choo! She's broken in, as you can see. TT2, so 11 and a half. Just like this one but yeah this glove is a beauty honestly leather's super nice she was just getting a little bit too floppy on me the web was getting loose and i couldn't really tighten it up didn't know how so just retired her beautiful glove though i modeled this one after this glove pro s12 icbr the colorway love it beautiful glove no complaints next up we had the first 44 pro in the collection with a black and camo colorway all around Got the Indy Zero, it's a custom. Obviously 44 is a custom. A lot of you guys love 44s. So I actually got this glove, as you can see, I'm a wizard. I actually got this glove for underneath, under $200. So it's a great price, price point for a custom glove. 
straight flop. The leather is really very subpar compared to A2000, a heart of the hide, put preferred, anything like that. But for $200 for a custom glove, you can't go wrong. Ball in the pocket. I really don't even use it. It feels like it's getting more floppy. Still holds your shape a little bit. I really would not recommend this for like high school infielders, to be honest. Maybe a pitcher. Get away with it. Even the pro pitchers use them. But I think as you get more serious, being an infielder with this would not be a great glove to use. Right here we have my final custom TT2 that I have. This is a college issue. As you can see, ND0 on the thumb right here. This glove is a beauty. We have the rich tan back with the tan palm. TT2 pattern, pro preferred. I will hopefully be gaming this glove sometime soon, whenever this one's done. But look at the look at the pocket of this bad boy. This break-in is amazing. Nunez logo. GYMR on the pinky. Black and white MLB logo. Love this view right here, fellas. Gorgeous mitt. And here we have my 44 Pro glove. 44 right here. I'm a big fan of the rich tan and, and uh, blonde. As you can see, ND0 right there. 44 Japan Select leather. So this leather is supposed to be a little bit thinner and a flatter model. 11.75. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, this glove is really bad. Hate to say it because I'm a big 44 guy, but it's a really bad, well, not very well put together glove right here. As you can see, what is this form? What is this? Not sure. Um, don't get me wrong, I think it looks all right, but just very confused on how this glove turned out. I mean, I will never be using it, unfortunately. But she's not bad, as you can see. Pretty solid looking glove. Next up, we have our first stock Heart of the Hod and our only stock Heart of the Hod in our collection. This glove is a nice brown all around with some black and red poppage. Really nice form, 200 pink. Really am a big fan of this form. It's 11 and 3 4, three four inch glove right here. Model pocket. Nice little clothes. Uh, doesn't compare to Wilson A2000 leather in my opinion, but super nice glove. Here we have a uh, fan favorite, call this one the basketball. Boom. Dribble, 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 you dig? Wilson A2000 with the spin control, first base mid. What size is this? 12.5. Um, you know, solid gloves, just need to break it in. I like my first base gloves, very floppy. Um, the Wilson Gold logo is popping this bad boy. She's stiff, as you can see, holds its shape. No break in progress on her yet. She's just been chilling. Um, made a couple videos on her, but yeah, I'd love to break this bad boy in and hopefully one day use it. Next up, we have a Wilson. A2000, 1788 edition right here. We got two of them actually, so we'll just show y'all one. This is actually my first A2000, super nice glove. Bottom pocket. Super small glove too. Anybody that has a 1788 knows it's super shallow pocket, super small. But yeah, it was a really nice first glove to get me in the glove game. Can't complain. Flops over, hold your sheep a little bit. Right here is probably my favorite glove, sentimental value wise. I gained this glove for years, fellas. As you can see, she's super flat, like a pancake. Um, I'm in love with this mitt all around. I was so comfortable with this glove. I gained it for years, as I said. Um, had some tape right there because she was kind of falling apart. But this is a JA27. This is before he switched over to the post web, like this one. I think this was a year prior. So this is, I think this is just a normal 1786 pattern, just titled J27 because it's his colorway. But she's black and orange with some tan. She's a beautiful mitt, broken in just the way I like. Ball in the pocket, as you can see, I'm a wizard. Perfect pocket, love to break it on this mitt. Favorite glove sentimental value wise, no doubt. Next up, we have my Pro S12 ICBR, Roland's Pro Preferred. Uh, starting to drizzle on us out here. Ball in the pocket. As bro said, this is my, as bro just said, this is actually my favorite sentimental glove in my collection. It's actually my gamer. Uh, actually lost the crustiest of the crust. Not lost it, but I couldn't find it for this video. So this is what I have to do. All right, fellas, we had a little rain delay, but we're back in action. Right here, we have a 44 Pro glove. I got this glove when I was in seventh grade, so probably close to 10 years. Um, 
as you can see the companies came a long way wow I and mean, this glove is just absolute buns it's barely wearable <laughs> i mean this glove is horrible barely like wear that thing. what is this let's go ball in the pocket i mean i got dang near four pink four fingers in a pinky stall right now just because i don't even know how to put this glove on what is this guys I mean, I have some sentimental value, but like still, horrible craftsmanship. They came along with that. I'll give them credit. Next up, here we have an A2K DP15 model. Really comfortable in the hand, but it's kind of falling apart. Uh, I definitely need to get this thing relaced and stuff. You can see lace poppage right there on the panky. Falling pocket. It's a nice glove. This is actually my brother's glove. Super floppy. I mean, it doesn't even hold a shape. Definitely need to get it relaced. Next up, we have this catcher's mitt, our only catcher's mitt in the collection, a Nike. Super floppy glove, super quality leather though, Nike Domin Elite Pro. It's a really nice glove right here, bought this used. It's a nice mitt to have in the collection. All right, here we have my first ever A2000. This glove's actually a beautiful glove right here. As you can see, massive palm stain. I love this glove, would never ever get rid of it. Um, as you can see, the red Wilson logos with the black background, black laces, blonde all around. Gained this thing in middle school, and I think freshman year of high school. Ball in the pocket, beautiful pocket, 1786, 11 and a half. No complaints about this glove at all, love it. Here we have my first ever A2K. I got this glove in, I wanna say seventh grade. Um, this is a 1788 model, so a little bit on the smaller end. Definitely could not use it today. Gained it at second base in middle school. Um, this glove used to be all a dark charcoal color, but as you can see, it faded to almost of a light gray. We have the black stripe right here, the power stripe. Had to relace the wrist. This glove holds a lot of value to me mentally. Both of these do. These are my first two legit nice Wilson gloves. Um, would never ever get rid of them. So, yeah. And last but not least, we have this A2000 Classic Brown DP15. I mean, go to any baseball team in America and you're bound to see this bad boy on the squad somewhere, usually in the middle infield. Even players that play the outfield be having this glove. Like, where does this glove even come from? It just spawns in the space. Super nice glove, floppy, shallow pocket, DP15, smaller wrist, all the specs you can love. When I think of an A2000, this one's one of the first ones that come to mind. I mean, it's just a classic. Here we are, fellas. We have the glove lined up right here. <whistles> Comment below your favorite glove that we reviewed for you guys today. Don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe. 20K on, on the soon. Road 20K. Love you guys. Love you guys. Follow us on Instagram at Indie Zero Gloves. TikTok at Indie Zero Gloves. YouTube at Indie Zero Gloves. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and we're out. Peace. Hey.